Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. This one's a little strange because I'm going to show you how to take low resolution images and turn them into high resolution images and make them as good or better than the original. Now that sounds like a mouthful. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Before we get into Photoshop, I want to show you a few things here. First off, I have images in my pictures file and this one here in particular is called Kingston Baby. This is my bulldog. He's seven and a half years old now. And the original image is, as you can see, 720 by 960 pixels. So it was a low resolution uh, iPhone, I believe, about seven, eight year old phone, maybe nine year old phone. Also, as over on the side here, you'll see that as you, when you look in the image, when I right click on it, this is what it says. It says dimension 720 by 960. It's not a big image. Let's close this and close this. Now look at this. When I click on this here, you're going to see it says 3000 by 4000. And this actually looks better than the original shot. And I've upsampled it or I've increased its size. So let's go to pictures here and let me show you to prove it. I'm going to double click on it. And this is the original image, Kingston Baby. It's fuzzy. You'll see here that it's kind of low resolution. -y. It's kind of fuzzy. And this is at 720 by 960. This one is 3000 by 4000. And it's much, much better. So with that out of the way, and hopefully you guys see what I'm doing here. Now let me show you how I did it. It's very simple. I'm going to just go ahead and not save this. And now I'm just going to open that image. So I'm going to go to my pictures file right here. And then we're going to grab Kingston baby. And I'm going to drag and drop that in and presto, there she be. And it's a small image like you can imagine, 720 by 960. What you need to do is you need to go up to Photoshop and you got to go to your preferences and in particular you got to go to technology previews. Make sure, double make sure that enable preserve details 2.0 upscale is selected. If this is not selected for you, select it, hit OK and then at this stage uh, you need to close Photoshop and reopen it because I believe this doesn't work upon, until you reopen it. OK, you've reopened it or you're ready to go. Now we're going to go up to image image size. So we're going to go here to image and then we're going to go to image size and then very, very carefully don't change the width or the height. You need to do is you need to change the resolution. 300, for example, is what we're going to use and that's standard printing quality. Now you'll notice here I've got a hand here and I can move around and when you stop you'll see kind of just how good a quality this will be. This is incredible quality. If you find that it's a little bit too sharp you can increase noise but in this case, it looks pretty darn good to me. Lastly, you need to make sure that resample is selected like it is here. And more particularly, you need to preserve details 2.0, but you can also use preserve details enlargement. So these are both effective. I prefer the enlargement because this actually is geared towards that. So I'm going to click on OK and now watch. Boom. We've got a massively increased in size and better looking photo using that guys that's how you do it that's how you take old iphone pictures or old pictures and turn them into new styles new sizes like a champ thanks for watching